Okay, folks, I'm going to get close to the camera so you can hear me with all this damn traffic. So today's project is to switch out the spark plugs on my wife's uh, 2013 Subaru XV Crosstrek. Now, the car has been hard to start lately, or let's just say it hasn't started like it should. So the car's got 78,000 miles on it, so I thought, why don't I go ahead and change the plugs? Maybe that's the problem. Now, in changing the plugs and looking at them, they don't actually look that bad, but I did find the problem, I think. And let me step back here for a minute so you can hear me. Okay, still lots of noise here, but so the, the, the giveaway was I pulled this plug out and I smelled fuel. You can smell it on there. You can see it maybe on there. It smells like gas. It's a little wet if you look at it. So what that means is that I've got a leaky fuel injector. Now that is the passenger side rear. I don't know what cylinder that is, but I know that fuel injector is leaking. And what happens is when you shut your car off, the car will run fine, and the car is in fact running fine, but you shut your car off, and then because the fuel injector doesn't close properly, it dribbles fuel out into that cylinder. So when you go to start the car, that cylinder has an excess of fuel in there, and then it's hard to start. So hopefully, I don't know if you can see it, but um, it's wet, and you can definitely smell it smell the fuel on there. So I've replaced that plug. I'm going to do the other side and then I'm going to go start putting fuel uh, fuel injector cleaner in and maybe that'll clean that up just enough that it closes and doesn't dribble fuel in there when you shut the car off. But let me show you. I'll try to show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so to do the passenger side you need to take the air box out. So you unclip the mass airflow sensor and then there's a clip right there that you take off and then you take this whole thing out you unscrew this hose clamp here with a flathead screwdriver and you pull this out and then up and then you do this side now to do that you'll need excuse me you'll need a nice flat ratchet head and a 10 mil mil millimeter wrench to uh, undo the bolt on the coil for each spark plug now let me show you what I mean by nice and shallow let's see okay so you see this cheap socket I have to the right you see how thick that is and you see my craftsman you see how thin that is so you're gonna need a nice thin head now you're gonna need a 9 16 let me go back here away from the traffic away from the traffic and close to the mower so you're gonna need a 9 16 plug wrench and then a swivel and then an extension to get these plugs out of there and put them back in. So that's my project today and like I said after I'm done with this, after I'm done putting the plugs in, I'm going to go to the Art of Parts store, I'm going to get some sea foam and a bottle of Chevron cleaner. I'm going to put the sea foam in first, full tank of gas, then I'm going to put the Chevron in. I might do it for three to try and clean these injectors and if that doesn't clean it up, I'll have to take it to the shop, have them pull the injectors out and replace them. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, subscribe because you never know what you'll see in the future. Thanks for watching. It's like in there. And you have to be careful. You don't want to get all rammy with it. You want to, it's going to be tight, but you need to do it nice and slowly and nice and easy because that, that plug's going to be frozen in there in that, pl in that uh, aluminum block. So you want to just loosen it up and then you want to do the rest by hand. And then once you get it past its sticking point, you should be able to just unscrew it by hand. And it's as simple as that. Just wanted to show you this real quick.